Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and um, I'm very excited because um, the latest wave of bloody miniatures has just arrived on my doorstep and um, if you've seen my previous unboxing reviews of these you'll know that I really really like these um, and basically I just couldn't wait to tear into them. Now full disclosure Richard from bloody miniatures has sent these to me to uh, to see what I think um, so as always what I'll do I'll have a look at what we get and um, I'll go through each of the packs in detail only this time i think i may paint a couple up as well um and show that at the end of the uh, the review so you can really see how they work out so wave three now wave three um contains one of the packs that i was looking forward to the most um from conversations with richard and reading what he's put up about bloody miniatures um he'd always talked about the looters and that's these guys up here we also have all the king's men here the parliament parliament men sorry here and the militant tendency here um and it's the looters that i've been looking forward to um for quite a while now since he uh, since he announced them um so what we'll do we'll pop this to one side i'll get each of the um the packs out and we'll have a look at those and a couple of extras that you get as well Okay, so here we have the looters, and as I said, this was the uh, the pack that I was looking forward to the most. So we have a chap here swigging away and some booze that he's stolen. Very cool. Now I thought these would make a great disorder marker for uh, black powder, maybe. So you got them like behind the unit doing some looting. Maybe they get into the baggage train. It, I thought it would just be a really, really nice even objective marker like this guy here with the barrel on his shoulders as always all of these models are metal white metal and they are sculpted by nick collier who does all the sculpts for bicorn miniatures and he's done a lot in the redoubt range as well this guy's cool there's this chap here who's uh, stolen a strong box and this range of miniatures as um, as i said in my previous videos from um the sort of the, the mission statement on the website is to produce a range of miniatures that adds a bit of effectively pizzazz to your regiments you could use them in skirmish games or mix them in um, to your regiments just so there's a you know maybe a bit of difference you know from just the rank and file pikes in the air um, but also I've used them in camp scenes and in um, dioramas command bases is another good one that you can use them for um, so there we are there they are the looters now each of these sets is eight pound fifty but you can buy all four sets together um, which then come in um, a little bit cheaper now this set will do very well for me because this is all the king's men so some royalists in here are, and now this chap he looks like he's ready to do some damage very nice pose very clean sculpt I should say as well, I haven't done any cleanup on these. There's only one thing I've done to these, and that's on uh, one of them. I've just all I've done is attached the halberd. But all of these are single cast, with the exception of that one which you'll see in the Parliament Men. And I'm still in awe that these are single cast. Some of these poses are are f just you'd think that they'd have to um, they'd have to separate these and do the multi part. I really like this guy who's about to uh, to duel. I think this chap would do very very well on a command base. Very foppish, stylish, <laughs> fancy, very cavalier. And then here we go. Here is a uh, a well-to-do lord ringing a bell. That'll be a lot of fun. That could be a cool regiment colonel. Oh, I just have so many ideas. And that's why I love these miniatures, because they are full of a lot of character. So that is all the king's men. Let's have a look at the parliament men. Okay, so here's the Parliament Men. Now, this is the only figure that came with a separate piece. It came, the Halbard was separate, but that slotted in there really, really easily, and it was dead simple and no cleanup required again. So it's always nice to have a, a model advancing. He would be quite good on the wings of a regiment, just pushing forward the um, the musketeers or the pikemen. Very nice. I like that one, sort of a rain smock. I also like it here because you've got a slightly heavier set, guys. They're not all uh, all the same body size, which is great. Again, adds a lot of variety. This is another one of my personal favourites. This chap here smoking a pipe on guard duty. A bit more of a... Is that a carbine? Like a blunderbuss? Fabulous detail. Even with his sleeves rolled up. He's going to have to be on guard duty. Definitely guarding a powder store <laughs> with the pipe. 
And this chap here. Now, this one is very cool because he's got the iron part on his helmet. On his helmet? On his hat. Very cool. And the final pack in Wave 3 is the Militant Tendency. Uh, at this period, you've got people, you've obviously got a lot of um, religious fervor going on. There's people like the Levelers um, and other groups who are um, sort of pushing people to fight for either side. Um, and these guys represent them. And this, what a figure. What a figure. That's got, that would be right at home at the front of a, front of a regiment of Dragoons leading the charge. As he's dismounted in fact i think that's what i'm gonna to have to use him for and that's what i've been saving some of these bloody miniatures for i have all of them um and um, i've been keeping some on one side because i thought that they would make a really really nice group of dismounted dragoons and i think i'll have enough now it'd be a real sort of ragtag dirty dozen but that's exactly what i'd like to go for someone there holding the good book really nice now they're sold um separately all of the uh the other sets are still on his website and uh, if you head over to uh bloody miniatures i'll leave the link down below then you can see everything he has as i say you can buy them in sets of four separately or he does have a deal where you can buy four of the sets together um from that wave so essentially wave one wave two and wave three i'll also leave a link down below where you can see my other videos um and i have a look at things like scale i'm not going to put these in scale again because i've already done that but basically these are 28 millimeter scale but they are at the larger end of that um, they are significantly bigger than say a warlord um, model they'll be about half a head taller um, and broader however these fit in really really well um, with things like perry and um, especially bicorn miniatures who um, is the same sculptor um, so they really are worth taking a look at especially if you just wanted to add a bit of variety to your regiments which can can look standard and boring mine do um i'm sure other people were wondering sometimes what can i do to um you know fancy them up a little bit basically um so what i thought i would do um uh, previous reviews i've just gone through all the metals um and i haven't um really shown much else off what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to paint a couple of these up and i'll come back to you show you how they take the paint and just an example of what you can do with them um so i think um i'll have a look and decide which we're going to paint it's it's going to have to be the looters isn't it really um and so i think what i'm going to do with these is probably make two bases out of these and they can potentially act as disorder markers um or um potentially an objective or i could just get a big round base and um, do something with them anyway what i'll do is i'm going to get everything undercoated i'm going to put some paint on these um i'll come back um once i've uh, once i finish them once i finish the base which will probably be in uh, tomorrow evening um but of course um it should hopefully just cut to that now so i'll be back with you asap Okay everyone, so I've had some time and I've gone away and I've painted up all four of the looters and I decided that I would base them up two to a base and create some either objective markers or potentially some disorder markers that could be placed behind um, units and I'm really, really pleased with how they came out. I think they show off the details of these miniatures um, very nicely. Um, it was quite quite a simple um, paint job, you know, they're only wearing buff coats and when you've done enough of these ECW miniatures you start to get a feel for how you can get through these fairly quickly. So what I'll do, I'll just stop the turntable um, and we'll have a little look at this a bit closer. Okay, so here we are. Here is um, the first of the looter bases. Now, there's this guy here who's got the bag slung over his back. Now, I thought he looked like a basically a proper ruffian, and um, I decided to give him a bit of blood on his sword. Maybe someone tried to stand in his way as he was uh, taking his loot, and uh, he wasn't going to stand for that. What I really like about this is that the bag has been sculpted in such a way as it does look heavier at one end, so there is some swag in there that he's taken. And I thought he'd be quite fun because he's got his sort of grim expression if he had the, the guy who was uh, having a drink next to him so i've uh, painted up the vessel like an earthenware vessel and uh, and just tried to keep them not in exactly the same colors that way they can either be royalist or parliamentarian um obviously red but could be the king's lifeguard but it also could be the new model army um but i've just tried to vary the colors a little bit but there you can see all the really nice details on the swords on the musket 
and in the faces themselves. So quick job on that, very, very straightforward base, nothing too drastic, just the normal basing method. And then I thought I'd add a stump on there as well, just to uh, just to give it a bit more um, visual interest. Uh, the other base, we have this one here, maybe an older looter, gentleman, he's decided that he's had enough um, of being paid rubbish and he's gonna take some swag. So you can see he's got a small strong box there. And he's got a slightly more ornate sword than the others, so he's clearly like an officer or something who's uh, decided he's had enough and he's going to be off with the loot. And then over here we have one who's maybe stealing a small, uh, well it could be a small barrel of gunpowder, but I'd like to think there's actually some booze that he's nicked. Um, and then again, same again with the base, I just decided to put some reeds on this one and I've built it up exactly the same way as I do everything else. So there we go. As you can see on these as well, equal levels of very nice detail. The facial expressions are really nice and make it very, very easy to paint. There is no flat detail on here at all. So everything um, takes the paint very, very well. And I'm very, very pleased with these. So there we are. This basically sums up my sort of quick review and paint review of the third wave of the Bloody Miniatures release. And basically it's more of what we've come to expect, which isn't a bad thing. They're high quality, very, very characterful miniatures and they can have a variety of uses, as I've already said. Um, how I would use these as an objective? Well, they can just be simple objective markers or maybe we'll do something in a scenario whereby these looters are roving objectives they're running around on the battlefield and they're worth one point a piece or something like that and when someone gets hold of them they just get that little bit of uh, extra um, victory points to add to their total once again thank you very much to richard from bloody miniatures for sending these to me to uh, have a look at and um, i hope you guys go over do check out his website and his uh, and his facebook page where you can um, you can follow for all sorts of updates um, and what i will do i'll leave links to all of that down below once again, if you like the video, then please drop it a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Will you be picking these up? And we, is it encourage you to maybe think about doing the, the English Civil War? I'm certainly gonna be painting up the rest of mine over the next few weeks. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all again soon in the next one. I'll leave a few photos up just so you can see these bases and I will see you all again soon. Cheers.